All right, so we're just down in Bundanoon to install ducted air conditioning in this house. I'm gonna try and film a bit more this time around just to show you what the whole process is. Um, yeah, so for the non-Australian people, there's some kangaroos over here. I'll try to get closer to them later, but yeah, it's a beautiful spring day. Love this time of year. Anyway, this is the house. The goal is to put some ducted aircon in, so. Let's get to it. All right, so let's cut that in. First thing we're doing is cutting the vents out. Right like there. Try to keep it where the heat source is. Cutting more out now. So that's job number one. Cut the vents out, and then we're gonna get that outdoor unit dismantled and up through there. That's the that's the go. About you, but I normally um, get like all the ducts laid out, all the circular diffusers, whatever you want to call it, laid out, and then just get someone taping it up. So before, I don't know, I was making a list of what we need delivered, and um, Tom was taping these up. So they've already been put in the roof. Now I'm just doing some more. So. Basically, I do 10 inch duct to all the bedrooms and 12 inch duct to all the living spaces. So just get that up and then the indoor unit, like I said, first thing, and then I feel like we're getting somewhere. So get this taped on. I've got a few more to lay out and then, um, yeah, get into it. So we're back here for a second day. I'll go through what I did the first day. I'm gonna film a bit more today. But um, the weather has absolutely changed. It's freezing here today. But um, anyway, so we put all the vents in yesterday. The fan coils in the roof 
um, and we've done some other bits and pieces, just organising stuff. Because I, the story is, I came here for the first time yesterday. I actually didn't come down here to quote it. I'm just that busy that I just haven't had time to do anything, so I'm sort of doing this on the fly. But um, anyway, I'll go we'll sort it. So the outdoor unit, I'm going to choose where we're going to put it. So it's going to go on this side of the house. These are all bedrooms from from like about there along is bedrooms about there that way is like toilet bathroom garage so i'm not going to put the unit anywhere near the bedrooms i want to put it around here somewhere they suggested inside that little wood um shed thing and i said definitely not so i'm thinking either next to the water heater so that's the wall it's either there so it's like on the back of that toilet or above the water heater on brackets um i'll let them make the decision but just i just don't want it anywhere near the, the bedrooms these are the things that i sort of take into consideration just walked out here because i'm gonna work out where the drain is i'm gonna run a drain out there but i'll, I'll work that out but yeah so that's where we're at it's locked anyway gonna get into it film a bit more this video is more about just showing you the sort of process that we do to install it once again i'm no expert but just showing you up uni strut and book a rod as usual so a lot of timbers in this truss roof but that's where it is it's good that we've set up the planum and the return air duct so it doesn't foul in any timbers it's actually worked out pretty well so that's what it looks like and now we are going to either run the drain out to the gutter or maybe go get the outdoor unit in a position i don't know yet depends what the weather's doing but anyway the fan coil is up pretty decent size roof but there's timbers everywhere i'll just show you quickly the other side
Basically, we've got hallway, and we're gonna have one vent there, which is a 550 by 550 neck focus, and we're doing another 550 by 550 neck down there, and um, it's just gonna be one there, one there, and the reason for that is just so we don't have to cut any timbers or anything; it just fits perfectly in between. Normally, you'd have to cut a big rectangle to just get, get the unit up in the roof. But we got it up here, so don't need to do that. So I won't go cutting timbers. I'll just get one there, one there. Both are a hinged filter. Comes through the gutter. Goes along. All uphill, or downhill I should say, saddled again, so second saddle, and then just 90 onto the unit. Now, 90, saddle, all downhill, saddle, cutter. That section, the, the grey, um, where the white PVC goes into the grey, oh, I have not glued that yet, because when I come back I'm going to slide some insulation all the way down here and put bigger saddles in but I just haven't got that yet so I just didn't glue that and I'll do that when I come back all right so I'll stay in the garage out of this wind but basically we're done or oh, done for today very windy um so basically this job is two it's more like an hour and a half south of where I live just down the coast the east coast of Australia just like the south coast um Basically, I just do work with a Sparky, and it's one of his clients. Like, I do regular work with this electrician, and it's one of his clients. I've just said, yeah, I'll come down, had a look at the plans, brought down some bits and pieces, but I basically hadn't even seen the job. Came down here, made an order, we cut in the outlets, put the unit in the roof, and we honestly didn't get too much more done than that yesterday. But to be honest, we weren't really working hard, just cruising. Um, it's been a bit of a hectic couple of weeks for me, and I just, this is more like a little work holiday, to be honest. Um, so we just took it easy yesterday, and then came back today, mounted the indoor, ran the drain, um, got the outdoor unit in position, put in the returns up, working at a, oh, working at a slow pace, but half the day is just driving, so we're not really getting that much done. Um, but what normally would take like two days or something, it would probably be double that. So I might have to spend like three or four days here. But like I said, I'm not even working fast. Like I'm purposely just taking a step back. It's I'm so inundated with work that I just am honestly struggling to keep up. So potentially I might even think about taking someone on. I don't know. But um, anyway, come back next week and finish it and I'll film the rest of it. I'm going to do a nice offset piece with the trunking on this job that I really want to film. But for now, it's a Friday Arvo. I'm just going to put this, Tom's cutting the last vent. Get that in, get in the car, back up and get out of here. And it'll take us probably an hour and a half, maybe a bit longer to get home. So, but it's a nice drive. It's a really, really nice area on the south coast of like just south of Sydney so very very nice anyway we'll see how he's going and um yeah probably see you on the next video have a good weekend